Hi, my name is Rachel Hanbury, and I'm the manager of sustainability for the Detroit Zoological Society. And today we're going to be reading, What Do They Do With All That Poo? It's written by Jane Kurtz and illustrated by Allison Black. What do they do with all that poo? At zoo after zoo, the animals chew, and then they poo. Poo is made of mostly water, but also bacteria and bits of undigested food. Animal poo goes by a lot of different names, including manure, scat, droppings, dun, castings, and guano. Giraffe poop looks like marbles as it drops a long, long way. A giraffe has four stomachs, so it digests its food very efficiently. That means a giraffe needs to eat a lot less than most herbivores, which is why its droppings are so small. Panda poo is full of bamboo. Pandas eat and poop all day. Pandas digest only 17% of the bamboo they eat, and the leaves and stems pass through their systems very quickly. So panda poop looks like a green mass of partly digested bamboo, and it doesn't stink. A hippo sprays a shower with its flipping, flapping tail. Hippos use dun showering to mark their territories and warn off predators. They shoot their dun out while flapping their tails to spray it around. To weigh a day of an elephant's poo, you need a sturdy scale. An elephant can eat 300 pounds of leaves and grasses a day and then dump 165 pounds of poo. To help you think about that, a football weighs about a pound. Rhinos can communicate through piles and piles of scat. Each rhino's poop has its own unique smell. Rhinos smell done to gather information about one another. A lion sometimes buries poo, like any other cat. Cats big and little often bury their poop so it won't be det detected by enemies. But sometimes lions and tigers leave poop unburied as a warning that this is their territory. Sloths creep down from trees to poop, but only once a week. Why do sloths spend so much energy leaving the protection of trees to poop on the ground? It's a mystery scientists are trying to solve. A penguin shoots its poo out in a fishy smelling streak. Penguins don't have teeth, so as one zookeeper says, fish go through them fairly rapidly. Scientists have studied the force it takes for a penguin to shoot its bright white fishy guano so far. A wombat's poo is cube shaped, so it isn't very rolly. Wombats are highly territorial. They each deposit 80 to 100 droppings every evening as signposts to say, I'm here. It helps to have a square signpost that doesn't roll away. Some snakes poop only once a year. They digest their food slowly. One study showed that it took a python five and a half days to digest a rat. Because their bodies are so efficient, snakes poop less than almost any other animal. Hyenas crunch up lots of bones. That's why their poop is white. The calcium in bones is what makes dried hyena poop white and why hyena poop can easily turn into a fossil. Bat poop has undigested bugs. Bats poop all day and night. Bats turn right side up to do their poo so they don't poop on themselves. A bat can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Many bats also eat insects with shiny outer coverings that don't get digested, which makes the bats poop sparkly. So what do zoos do with all that poo? They sweep it, they hose it, and toss it each day. A lot goes in dumpsters to be trucked away. A zoo might have to deal with more than 5,000 pounds of poop each day. 
Keeping it around would make zoos pretty smelly, so some of them pay thousands of dollars a year to send it off to trucks to landfills. They send some to vets and to scientists too. Then zoo poop is studied to help out the zoo. Doctors and vets study poop to see how well an animal is digesting its food and to spot health problems. Some zoos are experimenting with using poop to produce biogas that can power vehicles or buildings like a zoo hospital. They pile some in towers and toss it with rakes. It soon will be compost for gardeners to take. Compost made from herbivore poop mixed with food waste and grass clippings improves soil and helps plants grow. Zoos sell or give away compost using creative names like Zoo Manu, Zoo Do, and Patchy Poo. Carnivore poo can be spread around yards to keep deer from eating plants and trees. First, worms like to munch it. Their poop is so teeny. Then worm poop plus zoo poop grows perfect zoo-chini. Worms are an important part of the zoo poo composting process. They can eat hundreds of pounds of organic matter every week. Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle sells worm dew, made from zoo dew compost and zoo coffee grounds. The zoo says it's been pooped once by exotic herbivores and pooped again by compost-loving worms. They even make paper from elephant poo. Elephant poo comes out with so much plant fiber that a machine can wash the poo and pull out the fiber, which can then be used to make paper and cards. Zoo poo paper's pretty, not smelly. It's true. Whoa, look, yikes. That monkey at the zoo just threw its poo at you. Many primates throw poo. Scientists discovered that chimpanzees who throw the most poo and hit their target are most often the smartest and most sociable, which suggests that throwing is a form of communication and self-expression and maybe a step towards using tools. At the Detroit Zoo, we are the first zoo in North America that has an anaerobic digester to deal with all of our zoo poo. We put over 500 tons of manure and food scraps into our anaerobic digester, which works out to 55 wheelbarrows per day. That's a lot of waste. We convert that waste into compost and biogas that powers our animal hospital.